Hello. Today I want to look at something called preferred standard form. Preferred standard form, which is And preferred standard form is broken down into two distinct forms. One which is the scientific notation. And engineering. Notation. So there we have the preferred standard forms, scientific notation, engineering notation. And what, what I want to describe is why it is extremely useful. In, in order to do that, I will choose um, an example uh, of an equation, which is very, very often used uh, in electronics design. And that would be that x c is equal to 1 over 2 pi f c. Now, maybe you don't need to know, maybe, you, I don't know, you don't need to know what this really is. This is, this is uh, um, capacitive reactance, and this is the coefficient 2, this is pi, which you'll find in the calculator, uh, this is f, which is frequency, and this is c, which is capacitance. However, from your point of view at the moment, it doesn't really matter what this is, but the point is that this is 2, the number you're already familiar with, this is pi, you'll find it on your calculator, or 3.142 if you want. But this, in this particular equation, could be in megahertz. That is to say some number times 10 to the power of 6. So we've got a number times 10 to the power of 6. However, the capacitance could be in something called nano farads. It doesn't matter if you know what this means, but the point is that nano is something times 10 to the minus 9. Now, we are dealing here with a very, very big number. Well, if you count millions of big numbers, if you're a millionaire, okay. Um, and we're dealing here with a very, very small number. I'm multiplying these two numbers, multiplying by pi is fine. Sorry, two is fine. Multiplying by pi is fine. Fine. If you're multiplying by a million, that's fine. Okay, but here we are um, multiplying by uh, one thousandth of a millionth. And it's necessary to understand um, that that is a complicated, even with a calculator, uh, liable to make problems, not liable to make uh, mistakes, um, and therefore why we need preferred standard form, uh, whether it's scientific or engineering notation. What we can do here, you see, is that if you look at the laws of indices, then two numbers multiply together. This is two times the value of pi, 3.142 if you like, times something here, what should we call it, I, I don't mind, um, 6 megahertz, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cycles per second. And this is times Shall we call that, I don't know, nano, uh, um, I don't know, nine. I don't mind. Nine nanofarads, which is equal to 0 
point zero 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 nine. So cross it out. So we have two times pi times six million times point zero 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 nine. Now, whether you're using a calculator or you're doing um, long multiplication, there is vast areas for error here. However, you see, with if you are multiplying powers or numbers to powers you add okay let's start from let's start from simplicity what we have is number six here that's the coefficient and the number nine here six nines are 54 but this is to the power of the first one the six is the power of is times 10 to the 6 and this one is times 10 to the minus 9 now if you're whatever numbers are there's 54 we've got that we've got 6 and 9 54 we understand that now we've got a situation whereby we've got to add 6 to minus 9 Now, 6 plus minus 9 equals minus 3. I think you agree. Therefore, we're in a situation whereby we can, using mental arithmetic, I haven't shown you a calculator at all anywhere. Um, we can now say that the answer is 54 times 10 to the power of minus 3. This was very difficult to do longhand, very difficult to do even with a calculator if you didn't use the understanding of the preferred standard form. And But the answer is 54 times 10 to the power of minus 3. And that equals, well, 54 thousandths. So that is zero point zero five four. And that's the answer. Didn't need a calculator. It's okay. Hope that helps. Thanks. Goodbye.